How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be going over how to unlock the 93 overall Brandon Phillips. Uh, some of these moments are a little bit tougher than what I was initially expecting so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about some of these. So the hardest mission is probably this first one. Hit one home run and steal a base in the same game on veteran difficulty. This Brandon Phillips only has like 69 power or 61 power. Uh, 69 against right, 61 against lefties. And here in this first game, I mean, I was able to complete this on my very first attempt. But how I'm going to attack this stolen base is simply by taking my lead. I'm pressing left just in case he tries to pick me off. I take a one-step lead and then go to the right with the left stick and take off for second base. He made a poor throw there, so we were able to get in there safely. Uh, Brandon Phillips also only has 69 speed or so. So it's tougher to get that stolen base. I know a lot of people are having a tough time with that. With this home run, I just power swung. Uh, for a lot of these hits, I am going to power swing because you need some extra base hits, because you need to tally you know, five bases in one game, things of that nature. You wanna try and power swing because once you uh, do square it up, you wanna get rewarded and you wanna try and get those missions out of the way as soon as you can. I mean, the earlier you hit the home run, the better the other mission you have to hit the home run in one plate appearance but uh, for the total base mission as well if you could get a couple doubles or even a home run and a single something like that that's kind of what you're looking for but anyway as we kind of uh, get into this we were able to tally three hits and a home run it's important to knock out the home run early in that game like I mentioned um, in this next one we do need a couple extra base hits in one game it really helps to hit the ball into the gap, obviously. But even if you don't hit it into the gap perfectly, if you do hit the ball with perfect feedback, you're more likely to get it over the outfielder's heads. Um, in this one, we do need... Uh, this is a three-game moment, actually. And in this first game here, we were able to complete both extra base hits in the same game. That's my number one tip for this mission. You want to try and get at least one of them knocked out in the first game. And then the second one knocked out in the second game. So that way you only have to tally, you know, maybe one base hit, maybe two base hits in that last game. Here we're actually going to complete this three game moment in two games here. We are we are going to get it done as we uh, hit a perfect, perfect line drive into the gap. This one's off the wall. That's the thing, though, when you do need these home runs at uh, Great All-American Ballpark or um, the Reds home field, you need to hit the ball with the right launch angle to get it over that second wall there in left field. It has a double wall. Uh, here's another good example. We are able to hit you know, a few homers and we hit more than two extra base hits in that last one. It's just a matter of uh, hitting the home run when you need to for that respective mission. It seemed like I was hitting home runs uh, with the power swing when I didn't even need a home run. So uh, here I probably could have advanced to third base. I would recommend since I only need total bases, I would just recommend trying to go to the next base but if you do get thrown out, then it also might affect your uh, opportunity to get more at bats in the game. The more runs that the computer is scoring, or the you know the more base hits that you get, will help your team in general in these player locked missions because you're getting on base, you're not running yourself out of the inning um, and stuff like that. So you're going to give the other players behind you chances to drive you in to give you more at bats in the game. So. Those are a couple things to keep in mind as well. In this next moment, we also need another two extra base hits. And once again, I'm going to just power swing. We hit a perfect, perfect fly ball home run. Uh, this pitcher I felt was the easiest pitcher to hit. Aaron Savali, Aaron Savale, I'm not really sure how to say it. But he does throw a lot of meatballs. He throws the pitches right over the middle. I mean, cutters inside, cutters outside that are uh, catching a lot of the plate. The first time I tried this mission, when I did hit the home run to left field, the, uh, I, I actually failed that time around. So that last double would have given me the second extra base hit. We actually need another one in this game. Framil Reyes is in right field. He got a pretty bad jump on that one, and we are able to accumulate this double. Just wanted to provide a couple examples and show you a few home runs that I hit in missions that I didn't necessarily need the homer. In this one, we do need the home run. And then we're still going to have to do one more thing in order to unlock this Brandon Phillips. I do want to mention, though, before I get into showing you this next screenshot, 
if you guys are having a tough time with one of these missions or one of those moments you can also complete these online moments in place so if you tally extra base hits with reds players let's say you're using barry larkin in this event or you're using a lot of second basemen in the event you can complete it by skipping two of those moments even three of those moments if you are looking to play the reds on all-star the only way to beat that mission is to play them in a play versus cpu game if you go into conquest against the reds on all-star it's not going to count you need to actually play them in a nine inning game so i wanted to talk a little bit about that before i got into some of this event we are working on grinding some prestige players but we're also working on putting some second baseman in our lineup as you saw i bunted with jackie robinson I don't lay down a lot of bunts, but because I needed those hits with second baseman, I had Jackie Robinson up to lead off the game. I'm trying to get a base runner on base for Mike Trout as well to drive him in. I got the bunt single. It just didn't work out um, in scoring him. But uh, that last opponent ended up quitting. We'll go ahead and get into another one here. A couple home runs early on in this game to start it off. Home run there from Ernie Banks. A previous home run from Vladimir Guerrero as well as mike trout so here uh, ricky henderson this is not the mvp ricky henderson i haven't made world series yet the season just started uh, i also don't want to spend all my stubs on that mvp ricky henderson not yet anyway i think he's going to be a very good card still using the 95 overall all-star player and i think that there's some missions for uh tallying hits with all-star guys in previous programs so if you haven't yet completed those you can get a lot of progress towards a few different things in this one in this next game we're putting as many second basemen as we can we have uh, Jonathan VR in there Howie Kendrick and Colton Wong playing center field but he does have second base as his primary so if he gets a base knock that will tally a hit towards that Brandon Phillips and I just did not feel like playing the Reds on all-star just didn't feel like playing them I wanted to grind out some prestige stats I could only play the game you know a little bit yesterday so I figured I would do the moments and then get into a couple event games just to finish off this Brett Phillips card. But uh, anyway, I decided to pick up Daniel Murphy. He's another really good card to use. That's a second baseman, a Ward Series player for this event. We're actually going to be leading him off in this one. This opponent's starting Sean Doolittle. So we're facing a lefty. That can kind of help you know, some of the other guys in the lineup. Uh, a lot of our guys hit lefties better, even some of the left-handed hitters that we have. But I just kind of wanted to go through my strategy when I'm completing these player programs, there is usually, you know, there is usually a, a variety of ways to complete it. You don't necessarily have to do all the moments, you know, um, the exchange doesn't really make that much of a difference with some of those individual player programs as you're not going to be able to uh, uh, skip a mission or skip a moment in that way. It doesn't give you enough points. But uh, here we end up going deep with VR in this game. Specifically, we should be able to tally enough hits to earn that Brandon Phillips without playing their their team or the Reds team on All-Star. Um, I'm using Brett Boone. This is a brand new award series card released into the game. I'm using him at second base. So that's a good card to have for these missions and moments. Uh, also has a pretty good swing as well. Uh, Jackie Robinson tallies another base hit. Had a swinging bunt earlier in this game. I did try and lay down a bunt with him, but I figured the confidence on the pitcher was down. Now's a good chance to knock a base hit we actually tallied an extra base hit there so if you're still trying to unlock that signature series jackie robinson you can kind of complete a couple things at once uh towards that brandon phillips towards that jackie robinson by using the hardware 94 overall jackie but here colton wong is going to knock in a base hit i think that this was the last base hit i needed with second baseman in general uh this game you know is getting a little out of hand though 10 nothing in the bottom of the second he's left Sean Doolittle in for 35 pitches now, and Buster Posey is going deep. So we actually end up winning this game 12-0, and we got all the hits that we needed. That was a great event game to play, as I had you know a good amount of second baseman in there, got hits with almost all of them, and now we get this 93 gold glove Brandon Phillips. This card isn't that good. It's not even about uh, him being that good. It's more about the program stars. It's also more about the fact that he is... Uh, retired recently he still has a card in the game but because of his retirement it's a similar situation to curtis granderson we probably won't have this card in mlb the show next year or maybe even the year after that who knows when we'll have brandon phillips back in the game but 
Recently, I decided to sell Bob Feller. We did get up to 2 million stubs. And right now, I'm in a pretty good position. I'm waiting for some better cards to come out. I'm waiting for some better pitchers to be released. I kind of want to try out Casey Mize, but I'm still holding off on it. I don't think he's worth the price. I don't think any pitcher is worth that type of price. I just wanted to try Feller. But thank you for watching. That's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and hopefully I helped you complete these Brandon Phillips moments or at least unlock the card in general. Peace out.